Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm doing my first ever get ready with me today because it's my 25th birthday today. Well, when you see this, I would have turned 25. Um, so I'm just going to reflect on 2018 and talk about being 24 and what I learned, what I really enjoyed, what I got up to. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoy it. So I'm just going to start with my trusty benefit um, professional to prime my face. Sorry if I keep looking down, I just need to use my mirror because the one in front of me is a bit too far. So. Not gonna lie, I'm a bit nervous. My first get ready with me. But you know, we've all gotta start somewhere, hey? Um, yeah, so 2018 and being 24, looking back. So 2018 didn't start the best for me and my husband. We had planned to open a cafe we are both chefs, we enjoy doing pastry and baking and making desserts. So this was all planned out to start in February and we had everything ready, ready to go. Um, and then at the last minute, the landlord of the shop we were gonna rent from was just like, nope, I'm not having you. I don't want it to happen, I don't want it to carry on. Basically, they went with another company or another business. Obviously, we were so heartbroken. Um, it was really hard for us. That was a really hard time. I'm just gonna. Um, I'm using my YSL All Hours Foundation. I really, really love it. Like, I've used it for like two years now. It's really, really good. It stays on even in hot weather. Um, it doesn't melt off of your face, so I really like it. Yeah. So that didn't go ahead. Um, so we decided to go traveling, we, where did we go? We traveled through from, we started in Thailand and then we went to Vietnam, um, through to, where did we go? I'm like forgetting all the countries now, Hong Kong, Singapore, um, and we actually finished, we went through Bali, oh yeah, that was, yeah, that was interesting. It was a different, complete, like, culture. It was such a culture shock. Yeah, it's not how you imagine it, guys. It's not all beautiful beaches, and there are some, but it's it's an island, and, yeah, there is good parts and bad parts. That's all I can say. Um, and then we landed in Australia. So we came here because we knew some friends here that live here through our church from England. And we just messaged them like, guys, what is it like? Can we come over? Um, and they're like, yeah, sure, come over. Like, it's really beautiful here. Um, it will be easy to find work. So we came over, saw what it was like, and we really, really love it. In fact, we're still here. Um, yeah, so really love it. Currently only on a, like a holiday visa. So we will have to go back home at some point. Um, so through this whole experience, what I learned, honestly, life never goes how you plan it. So just let go and don't hold on to anything too tightly because it can change any minute. So I've just finished my foundation and I'm gonna just um, talk a bit more. So, yeah, so what I really learned from that is, like, in life, nothing goes to plan. Like, you can plan, and it's really good to plan. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. But just be open to the fact that things change, things go wrong, and don't be distraught when they go wrong, because it's just God taking you on a different path and taking you through his plan and not your own. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to continue. I'm going in with my MAC concealer. Um... Yeah, so God, God guides your footsteps, basically. Um, through traveling, I really, you know, people say, oh, I'm going to find myself. No, like, I, yes, I can say I find myself, but that's like, a, I don't know, it's a funny way of saying it. I learned a lot about myself. 
I have grown a lot as a person, I've matured because literally when we left England, it was leaving our parents, our family, everything we knew. We suddenly had to like fend for ourselves, you know? You can't just like rush back home and say, oh, mum, can you make dinner for me? Because um, I run out of money, you know? Um, yeah, we had to really learn how to budget, learn all those things. Um, it was a really good experience to grow and to like become a full grown adult, basically. Um, and in my marriage, it really helped us to become closer and get to know each other a lot more. We grew closer. We've like, yeah, we basically know each other a lot better, a lot more. Um, and like, I just feel so refreshed and renewed and yeah, I've grown a lot from the experience. Yeah. So, so as I was saying guys, sorry, I had to just finish my concealer. I'm just going in with some setting powder. Um, Sasha setting powder standard um yeah so as I was saying I've grown a lot as a person um, it's really taught me a lot the experience of traveling really does change you and I really recommend it for people out there that are umming and ahhing about it um, yeah so obviously being away from home meant that we were away from our church that we knew and at first that was really that was really hard but I learned that well it made me closer to the Lord actually because oftentimes in church you can then rely on you know a sermon like every Sunday or you know for me anyway so being away from church brought me closer to God because it was literally me and the Lord I had to I had to really get close. There wasn't church to hide behind, do the worship, do this, set up the chairs, do this, you know. Um, it was almost like vulnerable, you're bare, you know. Um, so yeah, so I've really, I've really grown a lot, honestly. Like, I'm not just saying that. Um, and landing in Perth, the journey of finding a church was quite interesting. I'm just using my Huda Beauty palette. I don't know if you can tell, like, yeah, there we go. A bit worse for women, is that how you say? Yeah, yeah. So, the journey of finding a church like it's something, guys. Wow, like finding that family that you really fit into with a gospel that you know is the correct gospel is a challenge. But, um, we've really enjoyed meeting new people and just not being judgmental, you know. and yeah enjoying different people's company it's really it's really been a nice in experience um yeah so honestly like summing up my 2019 was a really not 2019 2018 was a growing experience and i'm looking forward to 2019 and learning even more things and like i said we'll be going back home but we'd really love to come back to australia because it's a really beautiful land I always say to people, it's like, I'm from Zimbabwe, it's like a developed Zimbabwe with a good economy. We really, really love it here. The people are so chilled. There's opportunities for young people. Um, it's always sunny, almost always sunny. The roads are big, especially for new drivers. Um, so yeah, we really love it here. For my 2019 and being 25, I'm looking forward to growing more and learning more about myself, learning to love myself even more and eventually figuring out what career I want to do because at the moment it's you know I think it's it's normal at this point to have a bit of a <laughs> midlife crisis no quarter life crisis that's what they call it yeah so I'm looking forward to learning more about myself and I really hope you guys will join me on this journey and just see how I grow and what I get up to and all my experiences um yeah and tonight we're just gonna go for dinner i might like show you that as well so just look forward to it yeah thank you so much for joining me for this get ready with me i'll show you what i look like at the end um i gotta rush because the hubby's like come on babe so yeah i've enjoyed chatting to you and hope you enjoyed it too thank you for watching bye so Jack has surprised me with a day out for my birthday and we're going to go see dolphins. <laughs>
How exciting. I'm so, so excited. It looks beautiful already.